This is a series of films that tells the history of contemporary fashion photography as seen through the eyes of models. Do you feel now that you've been modelling for a while that the age of the photographers, do you feel differently in front of a younger photographer? Because when you first started, I have to try and very carefully not to insult you by saying this, when you first started, all the photographers would have been older than you and they would have all have been fully grown men, so in their 30s and 40s and 50s. Do you know it's interesting that because I work with the same people in general that I've worked with since mm. I was 22, yeah. yeah. Since I really started to, to work and be successful, yeah. I don't work with a lot of young photographers. I don't. Right. You know, and I haven't, no. So I can't say that. Yeah, I probably would. You know, I can't even think. I can't even name one that I've worked with that was really that. Okay, Mar Marcus, yeah, they're younger. Yeah. Oh, that one was amazing, Martin Marcus. That one, they actually had a bondage, a real guy, yeah. a real bondage guy. He bond, you know, the, I was bondaged up. Yeah. T everything tied behind my back, and I'm claustrophobic. Right. Everything. But the one thing with me is I will do anything, yeah. anything for a good picture. So they were at this uh, studio where you, it's outside of London, where there's a big uh, tank, and yeah. you, you know, and the photographer can yeah. can take a picture behind the, 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 behind the glass. You know, the glass. Yeah. And I was the first one in, and they, they had a scuba diver that just like took me down, yeah. like that. Uh -huh. And then they would say one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever, and take her back up. Right. But there was no communication. I had a little thing. It, I couldn't hear anything. Oh, really? And the guy couldn't hear anything. And you there was were tied? no communication. I was tied up. And a few times I was like, oh my God. But I posed. I posed. But the thing is, Mar Marcus also had a little walkie talkie saying, move this way, move this way. Yeah. And we could have got an amazing shot. I mean, after all that, you Which should. It's a fairly damn amazing, well. amazing shot that you have. But they did. But that's when I was rising to the surface. Yeah. You see, I'm rising to the yeah, surface. Yeah, yeah. But I was down. I was down. It, you know, and down. Practically, almost. That could have been my last photo shoot, which would have been great for publicity, not for me. <laughs> I mean, maybe for me, but not for them dead. particularly. I would either. have to come back as a ghost to appreciate it. <laughs> but um, yeah, for them, it would be great. Kristen's last photo shoot. I always think a little side note: if I die in a photo shoot, people would be like. Oh my God! Did you hear the news? Kristen died on the photo shoot. Oh my! They would be. Is that the way you want to go? No, <laughs> because everyone would be laughing. Everyone would be so excited about it, wouldn't they? Be they'd be like, I want to be the first one to say. I want to be the first one to say. She could, you know, in the in the funeral, everyone would be like, you know, even people I didn't really like. I won't mention names again, but they would come. Oh, she was such a great person, you know. But like, yeah. But that was amazing, and I was really tied up, and I was, but I quite enjoyed it. <laughs> I quite enjoyed it <laughs> because it's dramatic, and I love drama, yeah. and I love drama and shoots. And it, it, it was like it was like my worst fear being faced, being claustrophobic and tied up. Yeah. But you can rise above that and still do it, and be plunged down into this sure. pool, and just like almost, I just, I completely, completely enjoyed it. Right. And, and Katie Grant to do that with them, I think she's, kudos to her, I mean, amazing. And so what are you coming, let's do the same thing, what are you seeing? I saw nothing. Okay. I didn't see them on the other, I saw nothing. All I saw, I saw was water, in like really murky water. Yeah. You knew what was in that water. <laughs> and then just thinking, okay, let's go up now, let's go up now, I'm dying, I'm gonna die. So how die. many times did you go up and down? Uh, 20 times. Really, wow. Yeah, 20 times. And a lot of the other girls couldn't do it. So, um, <laughs> and just what's the sort of mood on the set? When you come out of the tank, yeah. do, you, do you hear applause? Do you hear... No, no, just no, 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 And no. give a five and down she goes again? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. yeah. That, okay, so it's it very was very quiet. Very quiet on the set. Yeah. Okay. And is it usually on a Burton Market shoot? They usually, it's usually quiet? Yeah, very quiet on the set. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So which photographers play music? They play music, but they play their own music. I think music is really important. For me, Yeah. and I can be quite a bully about it, when I'm on a shoot, I think music for me is like a drug. I really get inspired by, yeah. and different music for different stuff, you know? Sure. But I get really inspired by music. And uh, so, I don't need it, but it's a nice, it's a nice kind of, you know, get yeah. you in the mood for stuff. Yeah. And so, mine is rock and roll, I'm a rocker. I'm a rocker. I don't know, because you played yeah. Marilyn, Marilyn Mar Manson. Marilyn Manson, oh, yeah. <laughs> just drives me crazy, all that kind of dark rock and roll. Have you ever worked with him? 
No, but I would love to. Right. I would love to meet him. Yeah. I would love. Let's do a shoot with him. Well, apparently, he wants to. Not with me, with you. Okay, get me in. Get okay. me in. Okay. I'll give you, I'll give you yeah. the money later. <laughs> Excellent.